Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Dollars Jamming Not Ghetto Stream. Um, I spent the whole day or like half the day trying to set this up. We have the microphone going in with the audio for my voice separately. Um, let me know how it's looking and how it's sounding. This is kind of like a test video. But yeah, the analog keys is back guys. The analog keys was my first synthesizer that I spent over a thousand dollars on. <laughs> um, probably like, uh, I think it was like 2015, 2016. Um, I didn't have it for that long because I was really after a polysynth and if this is what you're looking for when you get this, you you were going to be disappointed at the time. Now, okay, so there's this new update. Not even that new, really, it came out last year. Um, the analog keys can now sequence external gear. So before, you had four tracks um, and you have one voice in each track, right? Unless you want to use all four voices for one track and then be able to make a chord. But then, these three tracks are kind of empty, like they're kind of useless. So you couldn't really use them for anything. But now, <laughs> you can use these tracks to sequence. So like you can make a polyphonic synth on voice one and then use the rest of these tracks to sequence. And then you can also sequence um, five and six. So let's see what this thing sounds like. Go back to some old memories with this thing. Um, I had it for probably a few months, I think. I really liked it. The sounds are gorgeous. You're about to see. So let's just get to that.
All right. That was that was an interesting start for sure. Had to get in my groove for a minute. Um, this thing is a lot of fun. It can be a little intimidating at first if you're not used to the Electron workflow. Like I've messed around with all the Electron machines except for the old ones, but I actually just picked up a mono machine keyboard. Um, I was going to do the stream with that. You might have seen that we were having some technical difficulties. Um, it turns out it's a little too noisy, so I need to figure out what's going on with that because the noise was just like unbearable to do the stream like you guys would have been crying. Um, but, you know, the show must go on. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be looking at today. So yes, the Electron workflow um, revolves around its amazing sequencer. All the machines have like the similar sequencer, even the old one. Like I just got the mono machine yesterday. Is it mono machine or mono? Mono. It would be mono because monochrome is that. Okay. The mono machine. I'm like talking to myself. Obviously, if you don't talk to yourself, you're crazy, right? <laughs> um, the mono machine. Um, what was I saying about the mono machine? It's noisy. It's nice. And it's exactly like the sequencer. Kind of like the same, but like they haven't changed their sequencer much so i immediately was able to do what i know how to do on electron electron has always felt very instantaneous very um you know what's the word that i like to use very knob per function but it's kind of like button per function on this um it revolves around this function button pun intended you hold this and then it lets you access like everything else um you can you have banks I don't really, I don't know exactly how many, like off the top of my head, but you have like, I think it's like 128 projects that you can save. Like you can save a whole bunch of stuff on this synth itself. So like you can make projects, you can even change songs if you wanted to like do it that way, but I like to do things live more. Um, but yeah, so it revolves around the sequencer. You can input notes like live, like I just did while we're recording live or you can input notes by pressing the buttons. So let's mess around. Let's see what other sounds we can get out of this thing. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope it's sounding better than our previous streams. Um, and yeah, that was a nice little warm up. Let's see what else we can come up with. I was seeing you guys were saying that you can't hear me. Let me know if you can hear me in the comments below because this is still like we're still trying to figure out the setup. So let me know if you guys are having trouble hearing me. Um, that would help. So yeah, um, I'm going to keep playing regardless. So let's do it. A lot of interesting sounds in this machine for sure. Like you hear a lot of drum sounds because you can actually like set one of these voices up to play like a whole um, drum kit. 
it is limited to like each step so like you know you would have to sacrifice a kick if you're gonna do snare on the 5 and 13 but you can do a lot of interesting stuff in this machine so right now I'm just looking for like melodic instruments i think i'm in a, in a wrong bank oh god it's been so long okay hold on not that how do i change mics let's do filter okay there we go texture chord keys Okay, thanks um, for letting me know about the volume, guys. I'm trying to figure all this out. I'm using OBS for the first time over here. Um, so you said the my voice is too low. Let me see. Let's not throw everything on the ground because this table's kind of small. <laughs> okay. Um, is that better? Is my voice any better? I brought my mic a little bit closer. Let me know. And you said the synth might be a little too loud. Was that let me know guys
getting somewhere now <laughs> um let me know how is the volume now guys for the voice while i continue to tweak over here let's load up some new sounds <laughs> Look for a bass. Ooh, that's like a Glock and a bass. Let's do that.
that was a lot of fun. So it's definitely been a journey trying to find some sounds while we're jamming. The thing is that this machine can make such different like timbers, so many different types of sounds that it is smart to like, you know, save your favorite sounds so you don't have to be scrolling. Oh, did you guys know that the old Electron boxes didn't have patches? So like I found that out shortly after buying mine, which wasn't a deal breaker at all. It was definitely a different experience. Um, it felt so much more intuitive because as you guys can see, like sometimes when you have too many options, it's kind of like that one episodes of the Fairly Odd Parents when there's like in the future, there's 500 channels, but nothing to watch. <laughs> kind of like the same, a million presets, but you end up scrolling through a lot of them. I keep forgetting that I am in a filter, so let's change the sound, cancel our filter, clear. A lot to choose from. There has to definitely be a simpler way to do this, um, but I don't remember, so. I know all the best pre um, presets and, or sounds are at the beginning. I was like on F. There's so many sounds you can store on this thing. Look at me go, yo. So fast. <laughs> Told you guys. Snake Charmer is always a good one. Alright. I like that sound. Let's keep that. That seems like something that we can work with. I'm gonna grab a bottle of water and I shall be. <laughs>
right, how is my voice now, guys, compared to the synth? Let me know. Seems like we're still having some difficulties. I don't know how to use a computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that's not supposed to happen. Um, so I've definitely had some issues with the latest update. So like, for example, um, you guys see like this is not responding for some reason. Um, we'll have to reset it. But anyways, um, let's say, for example, these tracks, if I scroll through them, like one, two, three, four, the three and the four get stuck together. So you have to once you press four, you have to press it twice. Yeah, so. Let's see. There we go.
Let's try to see if we can find some polyphonic stuff on here. I don't remember how to set up the voices this exact moment. It's been a minute, guys. I literally got this back yesterday. Let's see. Maybe in pad?
that was fun. These are definitely coming out a little interesting. <laughs> Bear with me, please. It's been a minute. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining how are you i hope everyone is well and safe and healthy
it's getting a little better. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are having a good Friday. Thank you for joining in the synth explorations. Live jams dash improv.
right now we're having some fun let's answer some questions let's see what you guys are saying over here missing my analog keys watching this by alm yes i missed mine too and it's back now <laughs> um let's see what about the workflow on the montage compared to this all right so the montage and this are two very different machines but they have like some similarities not really okay so the analog keys works with like a hardware sequencer on the montage it's a little more like in screen you have kind of a looper like you can't set the specific notes like individual notes you can't do stuff like that without having to go in the menu and doing extra stuff. That being said, the montage is kind of like my main, one of my main workstations um, because I can have unlimited polyphony, obviously not unlimited, but way more than four, <laughs> which is what you get here. Um, and I can have my chords, I can have my bass, I can even do like whole drum tracks on the montage. So the montage is definitely more advanced than this. If where I where I just was I to, uh, sorry <laughs> would I say that um it's more fun <coughs> would I say that it's more fun um I don't think so I think the analog keys is more fun than the montage it like creates itself like you start with with an you don't even have to start with an idea with the analog keys like you can just go put some notes press some of these little buttons set some set some steps mess with the sequencer and then you end up with something totally different with the montage it's um it's a piano so like you know you have to be you have to be better at playing keys than with something like this all right every time i try to leave jade whips out the chords a hey, thanks for thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it okay let's see with analog four having four tracks i do wish electron released an analog keys with 16 voices yeah that would be amazing analog um electron needs to give us polyphony and a machine that can do it all so we don't need every single machine okay um having recently discovered electron model in mono machine videos i'm wondering if this electron workflow is just what i need um by crumb monkey so the electron workflow it's complicated like you either love it or hate it um I don't mean the workflow itself is complicated. Once you learn one electron machine, you pretty much know all the electron machines. So that's cool. But what ends up happening is that you get one electron machine and then you get the electron bug and then next thing you know, you sold all your gear and all you have is um, electron machines. I feel like I work better if I'm just sitting focused on one piece of equipment. Um, definitely be like a better feeling than being like, oh, I have to jam. Let me turn on these five machines and like, hope that I can make everything happen <laughs> um, that's why I like the TRA and I know like this is a super simple basic drum machine you guys have seen me with like the MPC the SP404 the SP404 doesn't have MIDI like not the way that you know to be not the way to be used with all this stuff um, so I would like finger drum if I'm doing some stuff with chords and stuff but having a drum machine that can actually sync via MIDI and like start and stop my sequencer um, that's definitely something needed for something simple, like a live stream or like something where I'm going to mostly be playing keys and I just need a beat. I'll use something like the TR eight. If I want like more complicated drums than, um, something like the analog rhythm or something like that, but something for, for basic drums, nothing beats the TR eight. The, the sliders are awesome. Yeah. So let's continue. Um, thanks for joining those that are just now coming. We are having some fun with the analog keys. It looked like it was going to thunder and rain. And I'm like, oh, no, I hope this doesn't like, you know, I hope the power doesn't go out. But it's a little brighter now. It's looking nice outside. All right. Let's find some sounds and let's make another track.
how is my voice now, guys? Is that better? Let me know if that is better.
Thank you. 
that was a lot of fun. I think that's it, guys. I don't even know how long that was, but that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for joining. Um, did you guys think the audio is still too low? I'm still trying to figure this out. Yes, I'm an OBS newbie, but I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope that it's at least better than it was with my iPhone. Um, it's all learning progress. Just trying to do the best to make these videos high quality for you guys. All right, let's see. Blade Runner had sent a message and he retracted it. I believe I read it. It said OB6 or OB6 module. It really depends. Um, I have a more personal connection with actual keyboard sense, but I do plan to sequence some sense with this because that was the main reason we got this thing. Obviously, it's insane what you can do with it just on its own. I mean, with nothing else, now imagine this as a master keyboard sequencer. So my plan is to use this to sequence my modular. Cool videos coming, guys. Very cool videos coming. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And also subscribe to the music channel. That's where I'm posting my music now. Um, this one is more for tutorials and that type of stuff. All right, guys.